Were you present at an occasion when Mr. Paxton confessed the affair to members of the staff? Yeah, Ms. Yes, Mr. Paxton, Mrs. Paxton, Senator Paxton, um, gathered senior staff from the Office of Attorney General and senior staff from the campaign. We had a meeting at the campaign office in which um, Mr. Mr. Paxton um, revealed that he had been engaged in an extramarital affair and asked for our forgiveness. And was it a very emotional, sympathetic meeting? It, it was a very emotional meeting, right. yes. And at, that, that was with both Mr. and Senator Paxton, is that correct? They were both in attendance. Uh, yes. And at that, uh, would it have been a, 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 a general moment of sympathy for the whole event? Uh, absolutely. All right. After that, were there any assurances and so made by, by yeah. Mr. Paxton at that time? Yeah, I mean, Mr. Paxton apologized and then in, in, you know, using Christian terminology, I would say he, he, you know, repented. And I know that's a Christian term, but from my perspective, that's, that's what I believed. And was that really the tone and, and, and the way the whole encounter it, 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 went? It absolutely was. And, and you know, it, it, then we moved on and obviously with the expectation that, that he, had, he had made a mistake, he had apologized, and, and we were moving on from it. When that meeting was over, did you, what was your assumption going forward as to whether that event was over, the main the affair? I mean, I assumed it was over because that's what he said. When did you first become aware that it was not over and how? It, did, without what somebody told you, was there any other personal, I'm only asking you for a time, dates or years that you became aware that it was not over? It, it wasn't until... Your Honor, this is... Unless Mr. Paxton told him something after that meeting, this is all based on rumor or hearsay. Sustain. Continue. In your own mind, did you ultimately believe that it had resumed? Again, that would be based on hearsay, and it's not relevant what he believed it's, about it, Mr. Paxton. State your objection. What is your objection? objection hearsay and relevance. Sustain. All right. Why did you think? If you believed the affair had resumed, that was relevant to your concern about the lieutenant, about uh, the attorney general and Mr. Paul. Because it answered one of the questions th that I kept struggling with is, why would General Paxton jeopardize all this great work that, that, that we had been doing at the, uh, in, in the Office of Attorney General. Why would he be engaged in these activities on behalf of one person? I mean, all these different things. And, and by this time, we knew he had, he had, he had hired um, Mr. Kamek. Why, why would he do this against his advice of, of, of his, um, the people who he trusted to run his office, including me? And it answered that why question